Hey guys, what's up? If you watched our video last week, we compared Old World Chardonnay versus New World Chardonnay. We even went on a little food pairing with the salmon. We haven't finished our salmon. And we're gonna be comparing two bubblies this time. We're gonna be comparing two champagne alternatives. I feel like champagne gets too much of the credit for the whole category. So it's not called champagne. You can't call it champagne. What are they called? <laughs> yeah. So I just call them bubblies. <laughs> this one's Cava from Spain. See, Cava Fair. Brut. Cava Brut. It's not sweet. When you see Demi Sec, that's usually semi sweet. So this would be my type. Okay. So Cava, the closest thing that resembles champagne in terms of process. Um, this is a variety of Macabeo, Charello, Parellada. So those are the three very Spanish grapes that go into this. And here, this one, this is an extra dive Prosecco from Italy. This is the Cordor New brand, while this is the Tosso brand. Let's get Where is it from? <laughs> bottles in the club. Oh, oh shit! <gasps> Could never get used to the sound of okay. okay, so as last time, both bottles have been put into brown paper bags and been poured into glasses. Not by myself nor Janessa here, if you didn't know Janessa already, but by her sister Natasha. Yeah, so we both don't know. I hope this week we're gonna be differing in opinions because last time we both guessed correctly and We don't usually have yeah. the same thing. Where's the fun in that? There's no argument. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> so we have wine A, the one in front, and wine B, the one at the back. So wine A is a lot like yellower. That's peachy. Yeah. Peachy pink. It's like a, a bit rosé-ish. Oh, this one's rosé-ish. Wine B at the back pale. is pale. a lot more pale, while this one's a bit more golden again. But I think this is a little sweet. Actually, we should be using flutes, but I think for the purpose of smelling, it's actually better to have a wider wine glass. So, it's um, not going up. That's why you use a flute for the bubbles to be retained. Ooh. It's not sweet, but I, I'm gonna pair it with the salmon first. So. It pairs quite nicely. It's, it's not getting sweeter as I drink this one and like the Behringer from the last video. It's not as sweet as it yeah, smells it's like good. with the salmon. It just goes well. It's always easier to like bubbly, especially if you're new to wine mm -hmm. altogether because it's a little like soda with the fizz. Yeah, very refreshing. <laughs> On that note, let's try this one. Ooh, this is fragrant. Very surprisingly, this one's sweeter. Sweeter. There's something working here for both, but so you, you find this very sweet. I think this one's the Prosecco. I had the same thoughts. Prosecco tends to be paler. Is it? And like what you said earlier in the video, the Brut, as you said, mm -hmm. is not sweet. But the Prosecco is extra dry. Really? So it, yeah, so it's hard for me to but guess. I don't feel the fizz here. It's like more subtle bubbles. I'm, I'm kind of stumped with this one. I'm eating my way through the confusion. <laughs> so, so what's your guess? Um, again, Cava Prosecco. Also extra dry Prosecco. Yeah. There's I'm gonna go with my gut feel though. I wanted to guess this as Cava is, is because I feel like the fizz for this one was more artificial in the sense. I feel like this is more of a soda fizz, but since also the Prosecco is extra dry and the Cava is only brut, not extra brut. Mm, so you're going well, Prosecco Cava. I'm confused anyway, so I'm just gonna pick against hers. Yeah. Just so we keep things interesting. So, for... A. A? This one. The big reveal. I think it's Cava. Cava. Yeah. Just the weight of the bottle. Wow. But that was your yeah, first instinct. Yeah. Practically the same again. Yeah. Of course, the other one's Prosecco. There wasn't like a third <laughs> option here. The fizz for the Prosecco has small bubbles. While the Cava is more like supple right away. Are we drinking the same stuff? Let me try it. <laughs> you have no bubbles in yours. See? That's also, why No, but I just poured now. Mm. See? Try it. See, that's why I couldn't relate. Can't relate. Mm. Oh, oh. Oh, 
Oh my god! Now I get what you're saying na like really tiny bubbles. Yeah. And it lingers here. Sa tip ng tongue. I think I'm attuned to fizz. Because yeah, I love you drink a lot of Sprite. <laughs> love Sprite. <laughs> Um, Hello, although this one's kind of getting sweeter na the kava. You're getting drunk. Mm. It feels oh, like yeah. carbonated water with like Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. Versus this one, it feels like it's more put together. <laughs> the longer we do these videos, the longer we ramble because we're That's getting fine. drunker. That's what works for the Prosecco is it's closer to soda in a way and it's not necessarily a bad thing. So it's easier to get into, to appreciate. If you're playing the Lotto, I mean an auto pick against hers so I shorted you in a way so I lost check his video on like eat the <laughs> shorting <laughs> both these are within the 600 peso range it's gonna be showing up here and here for pairing is there a preferred one so you're, you're going with the crab all the way yeah. I'm quite solid on my choice I keep happy baby <laughs> <laughs> Kava with seafood for me is a sentimental choice. Prosecco reminds me of Shopee. Uh, one of the events we had Prosecco and asked question for <laughs> drinking Prosecco on the job. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us today, guys. If you missed part one, you could click on it here now. I hope you like the sort of blind tasting, a little bit of pairing on the side. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time!